So I got my uh, printed circuit boards today, um, put in the first power circuitry, and uh, immediately blew a capacitor because uh, tantalum capac capacitors are in fact polarized. This tiny marking right there, so uh, good thing to note. So we blew the 12 volt one, so I'm going to replace that and I'll be right back. Okay, the power test is complete. You can see the LED on. Um, powering it from a 12 volt battery. You can uh, see my test position over here because uh, the other tantalum capacitor blew quite uh, energetically. More like a little uh, electric match like you use for fireworks. So uh, not good, but looks good now. So I'm going to put in uh, the Arduino and all the uh, header pins now as well as the Max 488 chip. So uh, we can do a full test of this uh, control board. Okay, now the uh, Arduino Pro Mini is soldered in. And as you can see, it's working. And also the Max 488 is soldered in as well. Next is gonna be the COM LED and all the uh, breakout headers. Okay, so I got the uh, breakout pins and another LED soldered in for three motors and two servos so I can add the four relays and the pin breakouts to the side here you can tell for female header pins like there is on the Uno okay so I have my printed circuit boards now for controlling the uh, robot ROV control board one, version 1.0 it's basically just an Arduino Uno on here uh, 5 volt 16 megahertz but it's uh, it's called the Pro Mini it's just a slimmed down version of the Uno with all the unnecessary stuff for, stuff removed and uh, the uh, microprocessor and power conversion is all that's on there so this board also handles power conversion and it also has some capacitors to filter it if you're running say an ESC on the same 12 volt bus this can take between 8 and 12 volts and it outputs 5 volts about 0.8 of an amp. Um, it's got some LEDs for communication and power status but the big thing is all you have to do is plug in your servo connector to here. It's already got all the power and grounds wired into the buses on the, on the uh, board here so you just plug your servo in like this your uh, servo or your servo actual servo and your servo cable that goes to your motor controller and it's as simple as that so when we boot up here I'm just running off a 12 volt battery we uh, power up obviously get no communication same with the uh, top side this will have a circuit board for it as well but uh, I haven't ordered that one yet it is designed though so now we're going to uh, power up the uh, ESC and now we'll test I just have the uh, servo here mapped to the top and bottom buttons of the uh, PS2 controller so on the left pad so hopefully you can see that when you press oh we have to enable the ROV first and then press the up button like so. And then if you want to go back to the normal neutral position, you hit square. And it hops back to that position. Square. Like that. Now for the motor, it's the left joystick, like it's always been. And so... So as you can see, uh, there's a pretty good uh, uh, power there. I haven't charged this 12 volt battery, but even just uh, there's no flickering on the LED at all. So the power circuitry is doing its work, and the battery's probably got a pretty good uh, current draw. So 
overall things are working good. I'll probably, if anybody's interested, I would probably sell these for the cost of the board. And if you want components plus shipping, it's not too much. These, I'm not sure, I'll, I can look up exactly how much I paid for them, but I got about 10 copies here. So, if anybody's interested, you can uh, private message me or something like that. Thanks.